Okay, I'm about to show you something that's pretty new and it's called mud fossils and uh, it's a discovery based on chemistry and DNA and CAT scans and uh, anatomical experts and uh, it's completely 100% proven and um, I will show you uh, the evidence of uh, what I have to say and it is quite spectacular and the DNA uh, you know there's been multiple DNA tests and, and many CAT scans and, uh, and and the evidence is unimpeachable now and, and my background is in, in um, crystals and the uh, semiconductor industry and just to show you so that you have some hopefully some uh, understanding of what my background is this is the kind of stuff I did and I did it all my life and I'm just going to briefly run through this quickly as I mentioned a couple of things but this is this is something that you know is kind of deep and it's not something that you just do in a Saturday afternoon and then that's the end of it this was something that uh, I did all my life and um, hold on a second there we go and um, and, and I do know what I'm speaking about and, and this is how chemicals bond and how they attract each other and how they uh, the energy levels and the, the whole thing how all atoms are constructed and, and and all of this stuff it goes on and on and on and on and on now hopefully you, and it goes on for the whole book so again this is not something you learn in 15 minutes and I did and not only that I did the actual chemical testing on that and, and evaluated the outcomes and, and, and the powers that were generated all that business now and that was part of my other life now this is about about the fossils and I discovered that the things that I had been witnessing in my uh, semiconductor uh, business uh, where I had to uh, determine what was causing trouble with these crystals and and it turned out to be a lot of uh, uh, reverse ground current interference coming up from spontaneous earth potentials and uh, and other things and uh, and we solved all that stuff through different various clamping and, and so forth but anyway uh, the result was that I understood that the Earth actually literally creates its own electricity. Uh, and it's called spontaneous Earth potentials. And I know about this. It's not something I discovered. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just not something anybody thought about. And it happens in wet currents. And so there were certain environments where we had trouble, and there was other environments we didn't. And, and that's, a, that's how I, I learned to go about what I'm doing here. Now, what I discovered was that concentration of different elements it doesn't just happen accidentally like they think they could call it recrystallization just all comes back together for no reason no it's because of life life is the the organizer of crystals life is the cradle of crystallization it's how they get crystals to come back together that black stuff there didn't show up there for no reason that guy's head was crushed and this has been cat scanned and it's uh we didn't dna test it but i have dna tests on other stuff but anyway this is the feo3 uh feo2 blood the red which means that it's, it's still oxygenated and this is bone black which comes out of the bone when it breaks and it's fully understood it happens in your own body you break your bone you look at it a couple days later it's black in, 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 and it's just nothing that's not understood. No. Um, and, and this guy suffered a severe wound. You can see all this stuff. And he also was poked with a sword through the top of his head. You can see the exact shape of the sword blade going into his head in the CAT scan. Now, they laugh. Oh, oh this is so silly stuff. Somebody carved this. Well, no. Nobody carves things with the flesh of their, their bone, uh, of their nose, pushed off and craters in their head where somebody smashed them in the head and puts holes deep inside uh, with knife blades it's silly and and and, and this is a hundred percent i did an autopsy on this there's no question what it is and when you look underneath all of the articulations there it's just silly to think of as anything is is carved so that i'm going to go beyond that and we're going to go into mud fossilization how it actually happens